What up, boy? Hi. Hello. What you doing? Hello. What you doing? Hello. Did you hear? Did I you? Know. I gotta tell you something. this afternoon. We certainly appreciate your business. We'll wish you a very pleasant evening here in the Los Angeles area. With everything going on, sometimes it feels like the off-season is more hectic than the in-season. I'm always on the move. I mean, with Nike being the, the lead sponsor in the NBA, going to Los Angeles and being a part of the unveiling of the jerseys was, was dope. That baby oil. <laughs> Slap my face. <laughs> being able to see the new jerseys and all the stuff that they they want to do what the players was amazing. You see all the, the top guys. Gordon Hayward was coming in when I was leaving. Heard you were still here. Yeah, I mean, Gordon's a good friend of mine. He's someone that I, I recruited to Boston and wanted to be teammates with. It was, it was dope to be in the same jersey for a couple minutes together. Pleasure working with you, Isaiah. Thank Take you, care, man. Thank you. It's cool. The one scene, I don't know if you could watch. Yeah, I saw the whole thing. So, yeah. yeah, I just, when I was leaving, he was coming in. And then he was like, I see you out there the third. And he, he just drove from San Diego. I'm in the car headed to the airport. Departure tonight and an arrival in Seattle this evening at 8.38. You'll be arriving at gate A3 in Seattle if you have any connections. 6 a.m. It really is, though. When I work out in the offseason, I do not work out with anybody. I just feel like I always ask myself, like, what will Kobe do? Like, Kobe's not giving nobody his little um, tricks or his workouts. Cause, cause they're gonna use them and try to try to use them on him. Everybody who made it always looks out for the next guy. Meeting guys like Jamal Crawford and Jason Terry and them showing me the ropes. And I remember them telling me, whatever we do for you, we want you to do for the next guy coming up. So it's 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 more of a brotherhood than anything. Can't do too much. I can't. It's okay. Get to shoot. That's fine. Guess today. Slow grind. Yeah, we got the young fella coming in here, getting this work. Oh yeah, I needed this runner. DeJounte, we call him Baby Boy back in Seattle. And he reached out to me when he was back home visiting and was like, big bro, I, I, I want to be able to work out with you. I thought about it, like, man, let me go ahead and show this guy some things. no, no, now they looking like a bobblehead. Right until I'm out of lead, I just want it all to stay stressing from the pressure. And he wants to be great. I, I seen it since he was in high school. Man, that boy fly like Peter Pan. I got a handle on it. You don't see a lot of that in kids these days. You don't see a lot of that in professionals these days. They're fine with being who they are, and, and I'm here to help him in every way possible. He's gonna have a great career and he's gonna be a star in this league. Yeah. One for the money, two for the yeah. show. Three for my niggas who be getting to the door. Four, five, stay alive. Six, stay rich. Yeah, she loves me, yeah. You know when you were playing against the Kings, you were going to play against Derrick Rose. The Kings? I mean... The Cavs. Yeah. Yeah, Derrick Rose would be playing. We played the Cavaliers for the first game of the season on national TV. Yeah, the first... first game. Yeah, it's going it's going down. It's going down. You know, it's, it's killer season. I mean, I could, I could run. There's no way I can like finish down and back, or down, down, like, like sprinting. You talking about? I, I could might do a jog, but that shit is. So I've had days where I've sent them long texts or I've had long conversations with them. Like, what are we doing? Are we ever gonna, are we ever gonna be able to play? Like, they will always just say, you gotta trust, you gotta trust the process. I'm about to go to Miami tomorrow for about four days, my anniversary. And you're going to have your days where you feel like you're not getting better, and that's just the mental side of, of injuries. Did he say anything good? I'm probably nothing bad. It's just, just going to take time. Just keep going. 
Yeah. And he still played in our side. He retired. He didn't play this year. That was his last All-Star game. Wait, forever? Yeah, he's done with basketball. Are they going to play different? No, he's done. He's old. He's not fat. He's not like fat like, um... Shaq. <laughs> he's not like his size, though. Yeah, he's not his size. <laughs> yeah, I you, guess so on there. You, 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 you eating that like a ball, like a chicken. Huh? You eating like a chicken. <laughs> me and my wife and we had a great time through everything I've been through that was the first time like I could really sit back and just relax and enjoy life ladies and gentlemen Danny A. hello everybody this has obviously been a uh, roller coaster of a day um, for us when Danny called me um, I missed his call. When I got back to Seattle, I missed his call. He texted me, IT, give me a call back. Called him back, then he asked me how I was doing. I was like, I just got back to Seattle. He knew I was on my, my, my anniversary. He knew I was in Miami, so I said, I just got back to Seattle. I'm chilling, headed home. And then, like, it got a little quiet. And then that's when he, like, he broke it to me. He's like, well, IT, I just traded you. And saying what I've done for the city and how what I meant to him and all that bullshit. Dude, what are you talking about? My kid's about to start school. Off, off the strength, all after everything I went through, nigga. Like you're not supposed to. Do that. I just, that's not me. That's what he wants. Danny's like that, but I'm not, I mean, I'm not tripping. It's just crazy that they would do that. Like, I'm not mad, like, nigga, I'd be mad if I went to a weak-ass team. It's like, we're gonna win the finals anyway. Like, that's what's crazy, but it's just like, damn, after all I do for, the city gonna be mad as fuck. Everybody in that stadium wears an IT jersey. <laughs> nobody knows, that's, that was for him to call me. He didn't tell nobody. Cool in Boston, I knew my way around. I need to go unpack all this shit, then I'll feel a little better. Called my mom, I called my dad. I slowly told like my friends and my my family. How, how's life? I'm like, I'm, I'm good. This dead. He, he knows I just got from my anniversary. I'm like, I just got back home. I'm straight. He's like, well, I just I just traded you. I'm like. I gotta tell my kids when I see them in a minute. You feel me? Like, Jaden, that's all Jaden knows is Boston. Right. You feel me? Like, that's where he really grew up at. But it's like, man, I gotta go through this again. He's emotional. Like, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Um, I just felt like it was best. They know everything about your head. They, and I feel like you're gonna still be the superstar that you were, that you are here, there, and have a chance to win right away or something. I'm like, I'm talking about Kayla and the boys, like, and I'm just really, I tried to hit him, like, I mean, I just try, I say like three or four times, like, it's all good, I just appreciate you for me, like, reaching out. I know that there's a lot of feelings that go on when, when these type of things happen. I was a player that was traded twice, so I understand um, his sentiments, but, you know, you guys know how much I love Isaiah. He's a great kid. And, I wish him the best. I was hurt. I mean, I was hurt. I was hurt just because everything that I've done for them 
everything that I went through and continued to do for them when I could have just called it quits and went home and, and ended my season. And then I got hurt for them. Like, I, I, I hurt myself even more. I gave my heart to that city and that organization. It just hurts when you gave your heart, everything you had to that city. And I'm gonna say, it's not even the city that traded me. Like, nigga, I'm gonna have love forever. That was a business move by a businessman. So you learn in this game, in this business, there's no loyalty. Like you're gonna meet people, you're gonna have build relationships with people, but there's no loyalty. They're gonna do what's best for them, and you gotta do what's best for you. And I knew that going in, and I, and I understand that. But how it went down, it was like, damn. Daddy got traded. To what? Huh? To what team? To the Cavaliers. And my youngest son was, he was sad. He was like, he was wondering why. Why did you get traded? I don't know. They just wanted to trade me. <laughs> I don't know. They traded me for Kyrie Irving. He's going to be on the Boston? Yeah. And Daddy's going to be on the Cavaliers. Do you like that? I don't like it. Huh? Uh-uh. You don't like it? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's no skateboard at um, the Cavaliers. You don't think you don't think we could find a skate park? And then I told my oldest and he was he was so happy. <laughs> Cleveland and the Warriors are his favorite teams. Oh my gosh. If we have to go to Cleveland? Yeah, you have to go too. If you turn the TV on to this they're probably talking about it on the sports shows. All summer he's been, you know, you see the trades and you see people signing and he's wondering why people are going to different teams. And he's like, why don't you go to a different team? And I'm like, I don't want to go to a different team. I'm, I'm cool in Boston. And he's always, it's weird, he's always brought up Cleveland. Like, just go to the Cavaliers. And I'm like, I can't. Like, even if we wanted to, I can't. I just can't believe you got traded, though. Are you, do, are, are, are you, like, do you like the trade? Yeah, I can't believe Kyrie's on the um, Boston now. Were you mad? Yeah, a little bit. You was mad a little bit? Yeah. Did you want to be in the Boston with your new team? Yeah, I wanted to be on Boston. Is Kyrie so happy? I don't know. I haven't talked to him. I bet he's happy because he wanted to get traded. Yeah, he did. So he probably is happy. Should Daddy be happy? Yeah. Huh? Still gonna be an all-star? Yeah, we still gonna be an all-star, boy. That's not gonna change. I'm gonna be on a different team. No, I'm mean, hopefully I'll be on the Cavs and we go to the championship and win the championship. Maybe the Warriors are gonna win you again. No, not 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 now that I'm on the team, we're gonna win the championship, boy. Yeah, but daddy might have to go to Cleveland tomorrow, so I, I have to let you know. Cause the doctors gotta see me and check on my hip. Isaiah Thomas may not be headed to the Cavaliers in that deal that would bring back Kyrie Irving in return. It was a blockbuster agreed to just a couple days ago. However, Thomas's hip injury, which forced him to miss Boston's final three playoff games.